As a little boy, young Chris Smith liked to duck hunt. He used to carve his own decoys out of wood. When he was 13, he tried his hand at something a bit bigger, a duck hunting boat. His friends admired his boat and asked if he could make a few more of them. They were called punts or skiffs and were flat bottomed with a square bow. His reputation as a master boat builder grew, as did the demand for his boats. Chris enlisted the help of his brother Hank, and the two went into the building business together. They opened a small boathouse on the water in Algonac, Michigan, calling themselves the Smith Brothers Boat Builders. But Hank soon left the boat building to his brother. Chris took over as the sole owner and changed the name to C.C. Smith Boat Builder. He made canoes, skiffs, and small runabouts that used gasoline motors. Smith had a gift for hull design. He'd carve a small model of the hull first, making needed adjustments to get the angles and the lines just right, and then he'd build the full-sized boat. He also had a penchant for speed and wanted to make his boats fast. In 1905, Smith made his first race boat for a local businessman. Named Dart, it flew across the water at an unbelievable 25 miles per hour. When Cincinnati businessman John Ryan caught wind of this, he ordered a boat from Smith with one specification. His boat had to be faster than the Dart. He wanted to race in the St. Clair River and he wanted to win. Together, they dreamed up the Reliance 1 and the Reliance 2. The boats topped out at a record-breaking 28 and then 31 miles per hour. Their joint venture was successful and the two went into business together, forming the Smith Ryan Boat Company. With Ryan's money and Smith's design and building chops, the company was soon making race boats and produced some of the fastest boats in the world. The company was purchased by Garfield Wood, with Smith and his sons running it. But by the early 1920s, the Smith sons convinced their dad that they should go back to being just a family business. They bought some waterfront land in Algonac, and they launched Chris Smith and Sons Boat Company. Inspired by Henry Ford, the Smith men decided to build boats for the general public, offering exceptional quality at reasonable prices. In 1925, they produced 111 boats. Son Jay named a special model a Chris Craft after his father. After that, all their boats quickly adopted the name. They were popular, and Smith utilized an assembly line, again modeled after the car industry, to produce his boats. And soon, the company was even renamed Chris Craft. In 1926, the company set up a dealership network to both market and sell their boats. This proved to be successful. By the end of the 1920s, the company generated $3 billion in sales and it was producing 1,000 boats per year. The company offered its boats with an installment plan, making them affordable to America's growing middle class. The marketing campaign promised a piece of the good life. Son Jay took over as president and general manager, a position that he would hold for 31 years. Under his guidance, Chris Craft was the world's largest builder of mahogany boats. They weathered the Great Depression by introducing a line of low-priced powerboats. And in 1941, during the war, 
Chris Craft built patrol boats, utility launches, and rescue vehicles for the U.S. Army and Navy. By 1945, they'd built 12,000 military vessels used in D-Day and other invasions. After the war, Chris Craft really entered their golden era, becoming the mainstay in recreational boating. Chris Craft offered stunning mahogany wood, beautifully appointed interiors, shiny chrome, and fast engines. They were easy to operate and the epitome of the pleasure boat. In the early 1950s, their lineup had 139 powerboat models. In 1955, they made their first fiberglass boat. The Smith family sold the company in the late 1950s, but the boat building continued. It was the end of an era though, in 1972, when Chris Craft built their last mahogany boat. It was the 57-foot Constellation. Today, the company is based in Sarasota, Florida, and they build luxury powerboats, including modern runabouts, all influenced by the Smith family tradition of excellence. The story of Chris Craft is really one of the American dream, a young boy making a boat to help him duck hunt evolved into one of America's most beloved boating companies. The Smith Boats helped with the war effort, keeping U.S. troops safe, and they've provided generations of Americans with memories on the water, all with signature style and showmanship, carving out their own little piece of Americana. Thanks for watching Memory Mountain. If you enjoyed this video, please click to subscribe to our channel and hit that thumbs up button. Be sure to tap the notification bell so you'll be one of the first to know when we post our next story looking back over the landscape of Americana.